the minus one with West Indies T20I captain, captain Rahman Powell. Please proceed. Yeah, uh, Rahman, uh, good morning, first of all. And you, you guys had a uh, big practice session here. What do you make of this wicket condition? Will it be any different from, from the surface which we played in uh, Port of Spain? Um, to be honest, just from training here today, you know, I think it's better conditions than, than what is in in Trinidad, to be honest, you know, the pitch seems a little bit better. Hopefully tomorrow when we come, we, we, we do conclude that it's a better wicket. But do you think this is the best uh, chance in, in, in the sense that West Indies has never defeated India back to back uh, since 2016? So once they get a 2-0 lead, that will be like quite big because India won the test series, ODI, uh, ODI series and now you will have a serious chance of wrapping up the series? Yeah, yeah, it's very, very important. You know, guys, the guys are upbeat of our chances of beating India. You know, if we can go two love up tomorrow, the pressure would solely be on India. You know, and it's just for us to close out the series after that, you know. But we're not looking too far ahead. You know, tomorrow is a very important game. Hopefully, we can do some good stuff tomorrow. As an uh, opposite captain, were you surprised with India's strategy of uh, going with so many bowlers, especially their tail was a bit longer? Or? No, I think it. I think it's a balanced team. You know, when you look on the combination, Aksha Patel batting at seven is 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 is, is a good team. You know, so I think the combinations are good. Spinners versus pacers. You know, it, sometimes you're just gonna you're just gonna give credit where credit is due. And I think on that day, West Indies play a better game. So uh, the, the, this team, the young team, obviously they are preparing for the next uh, next year World Cup. With no Virat Kohli, no Bumrah, no um, Rohit Sharma, all the big names missing. What do you think of this Indian team? Like, uh, uh, because we, 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 without those legends of the game, I think. I think to how, to how powerful India is as a cricketing nation, any team India put on the park get the respect that they deserve. You know, and I think we have treated we have treated them 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 the same. You know, as as there is a Virat Kohli and a Roy Sharma. You know, it's just it's just for us now to keep applying the pressure to these young players, and hopefully in favour of West Indies they will crumble. One final question: Despite India like not being at its best, they still managed to stretch you guys till the last uh, last ball. So, but, uh, the India will be very uh, uh, keen to um, uh, bounce back. Yeah, yeah, very, very keen to bounce back. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a full nation series. You know, it's a series that both teams looking to win. So definitely, we we'll look for India to come strong and push tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, Robin. Obviously, Nicholas Puran is nearing a milestone. I mean, he's just 44 runs short of scoring the highest number of runs against India. Only Aaron Finch and Josh Butler have scored the most number of T20 runs against India. And what does it bring to the table? Because we, I was seeing in practice, he was hitting, both you and, and Puran were hitting huge sixes and you, you were all middling the ball. So, what does Nicholas Puran bring to the table for West Indies? I think Nicholas Puran within our team is the X factor. You know, he's very good against spin, he's very good against space. You know, he's very, very close to being that complete T20 player. You know, so you have to keep on doing what he's doing for us, you know, and keep on sheltering the weight of, of, of our batting department. Yeah, what, what, what matters the most for West Indies is that no, there shouldn't be a room for complacency. Obviously, it did show that when you leveled up that one day series at Kensington Oval, you ended up losing the series 2 1. So, here in also, you have a lead, and it's a hell, and it was a convincing win. So, how do you see this match? Obviously, Indians will come hard. So how is the West Indies preparing? To I conquer? think I think complacency is the furthest thing from our minds. You know, India, India is one love down. We're expecting them to come out. But if we as a West Indian team can find ourselves two love with a two with a two nil lead in a series, that would be very, very important. You know, the guys are upbeat of our chances of pushing the series to a two love. You know, so hopefully tomorrow we can do some right stuff and hedge in the again. Someone like a Tilak Verma has a wonderful debut in the last match, and you played uh, against him in the IPL. So how do you rate him as a batter, young batter? He has two outstanding IPL seasons and he, he he has done well in the debut match. So how do you see Tilak Verma? Yeah, I think he's a very good player. You know, when you're coming off so much runs in IPL, you come in international cricket with ooze of confidence. You know, we could see that we could see that in the last game. You know, but not just to highlight Tilak alone. I think there are quality players right through the Indian team and we just have to get our plans right to all of them. Rahman, um, consistency, as we all know, has been lacking in, in West Indies cricket, even in the T20 format, which is arguably 
your best format. Um, mm -hmm. How do you keep your players motivated even after that narrow win against India in the first match? What, what have you been saying to them leading into this one? Um, I think I think it starts from a personal pride. You know, personal pride of wanting to win games for West Indies, wanting to change the narrative around West Indies cricket. You know, just recently I listened to Prime Minister talk about West Indies cricket, the Barbados Prime Minister and the Guyana Prime Minister talk of how impactful West Indies cricket is on not, on not just not just us as players but the wider Caribbean. You know it's for us it's 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 start from there. So guys are upbeat of our chances in of trying to be consistent. You know guys are working hard to be honest behind the scenes behind the scenes in trying to be consistent you know but consistency will come over time and it's just for us now as individuals to try try to find our way in international cricket and but but what i think as a captain is that sometimes we're taking too long to find our way yeah and what do you think is the reason for that um i think i think <sighs> Maybe, maybe, maybe one of the reasons is that we haven't spent enough time together as a team. But spending a lot of time together as a team will be very difficult. You understand? Let me tell you why it will be difficult. Because there are so much T20 leagues around the world and it's just not feasible for the board or for me as a captain to ask players to miss the league so that we can stay in the Caribbean and spend time together. It's something that is not feasible. but. When we do get together, the little time we have together, we have to cherish it and see if we can mold together as one faster. How difficult is this as Caribbean players to balance it to international cricket and league cricket, especially in the T20 format? I think it's, 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 it's quite difficult, you know, because it's difficult on the back of a lot of cricket being played. You know, a lot of cricket being played, so sometimes the body becomes wear and tear, no matter how, how you try to you try to prepare well. You understand? But the guys, the guys are, are, are in a good frame of mind for this series. India has always been a team that the guys want to play against, want to do well against. You know, so that that is that in itself is a positive for us. Right, finally, for me, um, Romario Shepard hasn't been doing too well at the depth. Um, when you handed him that ball in the first uh, first match, what was the message to him there? I think it. it it, 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 was, it was simple, you know, I said to Romario from about the 16th over that the game is going to come down to you bowling the last over. Because sometimes as a captain you have to look not just where the game is now, but look two, three overs down the line. And I said to him that the challenge with you bowling the last over will be the fact that you will only have four feelers on the on the boundary because of the slow over rate. You know, so all of those information was communicated to Mara, to, to Romario. So he had he had enough time to get his plans and, and straighten out his plans and I think he did exceptionally well for us. Thank you. Robin two questions really quickly on the same concept of, of fast bowling there. How how significant because Desmond is the, the lead selector talked about looking at fast bowlers through the tournament. When you marry that with the number of spinners you have, how significant is it to get that balance right? Spin versus fast bowling? Um, to be honest, it's very difficult. You know, it's very difficult in the sense where we as a team, we're searching for a, for a spinner to match, to, to, to be there with Akil. You know, we're searching for that spinner that, that, that spinner that can cause trouble in the middle. But at the moment we don't we don't really have that spinner. So because we don't have that spinner, we have good all rounders that we trust and we just have to keep working with, you know, over over the duration of, of our last couple of games. You know, dating back from South Africa, I think the fast bowlers have, have done well. You know, even though it was fast bowling conditions. And finally, in looking to I don't want you to look too far down the road, but how how Closer is this team to understanding what they need to do for that T20 World Cup in the Caribbean next year, like putting parts together. Yeah, I always, I always believe that there's an individual puzzle to a team, you know, and if we as individuals can get better then the team will get better. You know, I always stress on individuals going back and working on their different roles. You know, as a captain, communication is very important for me and, and clear communication. You know, try to make guys be aware of their roles that we're looking for them to play within, within the upcoming World Cup. You know, and I think guys are dwelling well in the roles. You know, it's very, very important that we get back Hetmeyer now into, into forming a top six, a top six that we think can challenge any bowling 
bowling order in the world. You know, not often West Indies pose a top six with three quality left-handed batters. You know, Shemron Hetmeyer, Nicholas Puran, and Kyle Mays. You know, and one of the simple things as a batting unit we say to them is that they have to try to bat majority of the overs, especially when wrist spinners are bowling. You know, we, we it's 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 fact that our right-handers struggle more against the wrist spinners than the left-handers. So those guys have to stay at the crease and try to spend as much time in helping us as right-handers navigate those tough overs. Perfect. Thanks, guys.